All right, everybody. So what I wanted to do today was to give you guys a quick review of um, the new barbell that I acquired recently. As everyone knows that I'm a big fan of Rogue. Everything that I purchased from Rogue Fitness has been excellent. It's been well made and built to last. Um, survive a bomb, survive wars, sur survive Armageddon. Um, anyways, so this is the Rogue Barbell. Quick overview about it is, it's a 20, uh, four, actually it's a 45 pound uh, power lifting barbell. Specs on it reads 29 millimeters to the grip, 29 millimeters in thickness. Um, there is one neural, this is a power lifting neural right here on both sides. So, you know, depending on the size of your body, the size of your, your, width, your wingspan, you always align your, your grip to it. There's a lot of other barbells by Rogue Fitness. Um, you know, the multi-bar, uh, two neurals, Olympic, and powerlifting neurals. This one is a strict powerlifting barbell. Um, don't use it for anything but. You could use it for deadlifts, sumo deadlifts, bench, floor press, squat, back squat, high bar squat, uh, front squat. But don't be doing it any, uh, don't do the bar any injustice by doing anything else. You get a bar specifically for Olympic weightlifting or for CrossFit if you would like to do those. Um, so we'll start at the end cap as you can see right there made in the USA 45 pound power bar the Rogue Ohio power bar. Um, it's, it's black and white uh, st strict, strictly to business right there um, you know nothing too fancy. Uh, the sleeve itself you know it has the, uh, the groove right there you can hear that's my calluses rubbing on the barbell right there. Um, these little grooves help keep this, the, the plates on the sleeve without having to, having to necessitate the use of clamps. Um, as you can see, the spin is excellent for a power, power lifting barbell. There's a, the, the, uh, the bushings, it's actually a bushing bar, it has a bronze bushings by Rogue. Um, I've had uh, the Rogue barbell 1.0 before. It's an excellent spin, it actually does well for, uh, for wads and Olympic weightlifting, but not the best, it does well enough. So if you're, you know, if you're stuck with one bar, this wouldn't be a bad choice either if you wanna do everything with it. Um, the, the reason I, want, I bought this barbell, uh, because over the uh, Texas Power Bar, is because they, you know, not a lot of people have it. I understand a lot of people have the Texas Power Bar, they love it, they live by it, they swear by it, a lot of big names. Um, I wanted to give this barbell a try. I wanted to give something that was out there that not a lot of people had. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people will eventually get this barbell. Um, just for the fact that it's, you know, basically amazing. Um, the knurl, as you can see right here, it's a cheese grater. It is very deep. It's very sharp. And that's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want something that was passive. I didn't want something that, you know, would slip out of my hands unless, you know, I had straps or chalk on. I wanted something that would grip right back and uh, bite into my hands. If you, so if you're, if you're not used to um, something sharp, if your hands are, if you're lacking the calluses like these, then you, you definitely want, might want to buy something a little bit softer. As you can see, the, 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 um, the finish that I decided to purchase is the, um, it's, it's the bare steel, bare steel bar. Uh, that's one of the reasons I decided to purchase this over the Texas Power Bar is because this barbell specifically uh, gave you the option to choose whether you want a black zinc or a bare steel. Um, I can tell you right now that the bare steel barbell, the feel of it, the grip of it, it's unmatched. It is excellent. It feels really, really good in my hands. And I like, it it's just feels so much more badass to me. I know in the future this is definitely going to require a lot more upkeep. You're, if you have a bare steel bar, you definitely want to, you know, put some 3-in-1 oil or WD-40 on it weekly, especially if you live in more humid areas, otherwise it's going to rust. But if you take care of it properly, it's going to create a nice patina look, you know, which, is, which, which gives you that hardcore feel. Anyways, um, I was able to put up to close to 500 pounds on this. It's a very, very stiff barbell. It's not like um, I used to deadlift with the Aleco uh, competition weightlifting barbell, and that had a lot, a lot of whip to it. This is a lot different. It feels very, very stiff, regardless of how much weight I decide to put on it. It's 205,000 um, pounds per square inch in tensile strength. Um, so to put it shortly, that's extremely strong, and you're not going to rip it, and it's going to be very, very difficult for you to bend this bar, unless you're a dumbass and you so decided to just drop it on the safety catches or something. Anyways, the bar, the value, it's, uh, it was $250. Uh, 
face value, but uh, to ship to uh, California, it cost me $283. Um, I, I believe that is unbeatable for the bar that you get. It's a no-brainer. This is an excellent barbell from an ex excellent company. Um, give it a shot. Um, definitely would buy this for twice as much as I spent on it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks.